you have been interested for a long time in outsider type people mm -hmm. and you really wanted to do something that you enjoyed and believed in. Can you just say a little bit about that and how you got involved and what what drove you to write this? Yeah, I had a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of things that I was interested in. Uh, talking about technology and how that's kind of changed uh, uh, the world in the last decade or so. Um, and, and I thought that a, an interesting way of focusing on that would be to look at a group of people who didn't have any technology at all um, and see how it was that they lived. Um, and uh, so I, I had this idea of, of, of these people that lived on a mountain completely off the grid and, and slowly I, I, I looked at a some documentaries and I read some books and other things and it slowly kind of came together to to be the feral clan and then I tried to figure out like well what would what what would be interesting dramatically well that would be if their way of life was threatened and I figured out how to you know mountaintop removal would be a very interesting um, dr and dramatic setting for this story so setting it in Appalachia became the next step and then I did research into that part of the world and so on so really just was a series of of things that I was interested in and all kind of came together finally. And you, Mr. Tolman, are mostly a comedy guy. So you, how did that yeah. happen? I don't know. I think people <laughs> get confused after Rescue Me. They thought I was actually a drama writer. So it's just, I you, suddenly was, you know, not a, I, they couldn't be put into that Hollywood box of your one thing. Are you saying it's not, the show's not funny? <laughs> <laughs> really? When he strangles his mother? Come on, who has not Hilarious. And, Spoiler alert. That's a funny way he strangles. It's the funny way he strangles his mother. I think that's the difference. No, I just read it, and it was fan I mean, I, I get offered a lot of different scripts to work on or produce, and I saw this, and it was so different. I, ne I really had never read anything like it, and I was a little scared. I mean, yes, I, am, I suppose I am primarily a comedy writer, and this, but uh, I think, I do think that in some of the episodes, there's, there is a sly humor that, has been injected a little bit, so, you know. It's, it's not overly dramatic, but it is. It does seem a little bit. I think new, in, you know. I think when Peter. For you. Yeah, when Peter wrote it, I think that, that a lot of the words that we used initially were like it's very cinematic in terms of the look of it, and also mythic. That we wanted to really establish the the mythic quality of that family. So, uh, all of those things don't lead you towards you know anything funny, but it, it it's just that there's so many ideas at play in the script that I. I I, th I find it really fun and interesting, interesting to write, you know. And I have to ask about the name of the family, because whenever I saw the trailer, which I saw before I saw anything in writing, I was thinking Feral, F-E-R-A-L. Oh, really? Yeah. Did that ever enter your mind? You know, it didn't. Um, I don't know exactly how I came up with that name, and then uh, I realized that it was a bit of a pun. And I just decided to sort of leave it, and some people have picked up on that, and not, but it's not like that wasn't the, the genesis of the name. It's, a, it's an interesting play on words, though. It, it, it works mm -hmm. for those of us who rescue cats. <laughs> 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 and I happen to live in the outskirts of Pittsburgh. Oh, you do? I, outskirts. When Where? I, say that, I live within the Pittsburgh city limits, and it looks a lot like... <laughs> Well, that's where we where shot. Where did you film? Yeah, I was wondering, where did you film? Uh, the town of Blackburg, we filmed in Millvale. I live right near Millvale. Where? Yeah. Um, I actually live in Ross Township. Oh, well, okay. Right up, Pittsburgh. right, just north of there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we shot, the town is Millvale. Um, and we, you know, shot a couple of other little places, like one scene in Troy Hill, and a couple of other, but mostly Millvale. Um, the, the Shea Mountain, like where the Farrells live, is in Monroeville. Not far that away. Was my stomping grounds whenever I was a kid. Really? Mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, you know the JCC, mm -hmm. where that summer camp is. Yeah. That's uh, they have they have like I don't know forty or fifty acres that they don't use, and we and we took that as our location and built all of our all this stuff was built there in, in those woods. Wow. Yeah. 